Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2022 Toyota RAV4 Prime. And we're gonna do the front grille installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation on the RAV4 Prime. And this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material for this installation. That way it matches the design color that the XSE has already. If you like the product, link for the product will be in the description below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before starting with the installation for the front grille, we need to make sure we prep the panel. So to prep it, you could either wash the vehicle beforehand, just make sure if you wash it that everything is completely dry. Another option you can do is use the spray bottle, add water inside the spray bottle, and add baby shampoo into the bottle to create your solution in order to help you clean the panel. And then once you have your solution, spray it on your microfiber towel and just start removing the contaminants that the panel may have. Also, just make sure once you're done washing your vehicle or prepping it with the bottle, make sure that the whole panel is completely dry because if water is still on the panel and it's not completely dry and it gets on the adhesive side of the film, it will not stick. Even if you apply heat, the film is just going to keep lifting. So we need to make sure that everything is completely dry before doing the installation. Okay, so once the panel is completely dry and ready to go, we can start with the installation. So with this one, we just want to start off by grabbing the film. You can start by either aligning it here or on this edge here. It doesn't really matter. It's just making sure wherever you start, make sure you align it and then make sure it's just covering the whole chrome. So let's say we want to start here on this side. Just make sure you give yourself enough material to cover the chrome on the inside as well. So roughly around there and just work your way on installing the rest of the film. And if you need to lift it to adjust it, just lift it carefully and just align it back to the position you want it to. It should just go like that, pretty simple. And let's say you start from here, from this side, just make sure you give yourself a little bit of excess material just to cover the inside here. If you want to cover the inside on this side, even though it's a little hard to tuck in on this side, you could probably still squeeze in some material there in order to cover this area. But if you don't want to cover it, that's where you'll trim it off, basically like that. So now you would just focus on tacking down the flat area first. So just squeegee anything that's flat. So basically the front section of the grill. And then that's when little by little we can start tacking down the film. I recommend starting from the curved side of the film. That way you're able to tack down the film without creating any fingers on the top section. If you're having trouble tacking down the film on the curved area, you could also apply heat. That would help the film release a little bit of tension and that way you're able to just tack it down without creasing it. So just rinse and repeat, tack down the curve first and just leave it like that. Don't tuck down the edge here, just leave it like that and just focus on this whole piece here. And now just start from here too as well. Tack down, tack down, tack down. And then here, if you need to apply heat, you can. Or you could just squeegee at an angle, as so, like that, to help it tack down. And if you need help tacking it down, let's say you do, just grab your heat gun and apply heat here to help it tack down to the curve. So let's say you're having problems here, this is where you would grab your heat gun and just apply a little bit of heat. Let it cool off and then use your squeegee to tack it down and help it tack down on the curve. And it should feel smooth when you run your finger. And then just finish off with the rest here. And now the next thing is finishing off this section here. So with this one, you are going to need to apply a heat. That way the film loses the tension again and is able to tack down on the curve. Because if we just apply it like this, the film's just gonna come back to its original form. So we need to apply a little bit of heat just to tack it down on this curve and on this curve here. So apply heat, you can hold it. Just be careful not to burn your fingers. Let it cool off. And you can use your finger to start helping it form to the curve of the grill. And then since now we got a good amount tacked down on this side, apply heat again to help it tack down to the curve inside. So it's just rinse and repeating until you're able to tack down this edge. And once you tack it down, then just move on to the top and just do the same thing, apply heat and so forth. And the, all this excess material will get trimmed off afterwards. We just need to have full coverage on this side of the grill. Just make sure also to tuck down the film underneath here to cover the chrome. 
as you can see, most of it is tacked down inside. So it feels flush and you just rinse and repeat until you tack down this whole section. So just continue, as you can see, the curve here is tacked down and you just continue with the rest until you reach it up to here. And then right here, we'll do something else to help it tack down. Okay, so once you finish tagging down everything for this piece here, for the last section, you could do two methods on how to go about installation. So with this one, you could either trim it off right there, just trim it off without having the need to install it. But the only thing, if you do that, you're just going to show the chrome from the inside here. So it's gonna look like this, but you just look deep enough. If you look inside of the grill, you're just gonna see the side piece of the chrome. That's completely fine if you like that design. Another way, if you want full coverage, is doing this step, so make sure you have it flat and just cut two straight lines so one here going like this and the other one going on top so i'll show you guys what i mean so just cut one just be careful not to scratch the paint cut one and then do the same on the top you could pull the film towards you just to avoid any scratching on the paint so now you created two cutout slits and now the middle one would just go tucked in inside so squeeze it in and it covers the inside of the chrome. And then the two other pieces will just go underneath and tucked in, or you could trim them off if it's too much material, depending on how you aligned it on the bottom edge here. Okay, so if you don't want to tuck the film inside, so let's say the top piece here, since we did the cutout, all you need to do is just trim off the excess material. So to trim it off, just do a small slit and a cutout to remove that piece and then just tuck it back inside and it should still cover all of the chrome there. So that's one method of doing this piece if you want to cover the inside. As you can see, it covers the chrome. But if you don't want to do this step, all you need to do is just trim off everything from the beginning here and it should cover it up to the edge here, but it's not going to cover it inside of the chrome. So it's just two different steps of going about the installation here. And then the same steps that you would do on this side, you would just rinse and repeat to the next panel since they're both identical. And then once you're done, you can move on with the next installation. So for the bottom lip of the RAV4 Prime, you would start from either cutouts. So with this one, yeah, as you can see, when you see the vehicle, it's gonna have two cutouts on each side. You could align it from either end, just wherever you start. You are gonna have a little bit of excess material on the other end, that's where you trim it off. So let's say we start here, just align it as close to it as possible and just use the lower half of the panel as the guide in order to align it and install it. And all we're doing is just making sure we cover all of the chrome. And it should be like this. Make sure you squeegee out any air from the bottom layer. And again, if you need to lift it and adjust it to align it to the panel, lift it carefully and try not to tear it. Once it's tacked down, start from the middle and start tacking down the film. Start from the middle, work your way to one end, and then work your way to the other end. So squeegee and tack down, squeegee and tack down. And the excess material is going to go tucked in underneath. If you want to trim it, if it's too much material, you could trim it. Some of the material may be exposed, but if it tucks in perfectly fine, then you can leave it inside. That way it does full coverage. And then continue on with the rest on the other side. Make sure it stays tight down and secure it. And then just squeegee, like I said, anything that you can underneath the lip here of the grill. So most of it tacked down. There's just some areas that are lifting still. So just secure it. And if you do see material that's still remaining, that's too much, then just trim it off. So for example here, there's still some material popping out. Just be careful, grab your blade and trim it off. And just be careful when you're removing it. Just use the tip of your blade to remove that excess material. And just make sure everything's tacked down. And like I said, you are going to have excess material on the other side. So for the other side, just grab your blade, find that gap, and you just insert the blade there and trim it off. Just be careful, take your time. And then the inside, you could only go so much. So as long as you're doing full coverage and trim whatever's here, that's perfectly fine. And then just tear it out since it's excess material. And it does a complete coverage. And now we move on to the side panels. Okay, so when it comes to installing the last piece here, with this one, you wanna start off by aligning it on this side first. So grab your piece and align it right on the edge and just follow the design of the lower half of the panel as the guide in order to install it. So just make sure you give yourself enough material to cover the lower section. And if you need to lift it to readjust it, you can. Just take your time. This one's tricky since it does have a curve. So just take your time 
Go section by section and just make sure you're covering all of the chrome. So as you can see, we're halfway there. Everything's tacked down and covered and just finished off with the rest of the panel here. So you might have some fingers here with this piece here. That's when we're gonna need to apply heat because if we just install it like this, it's going to create a lot of creases here. So once we get to this curved here, apply heat on the film to help it tack down and sit better to the section here. So lift it, apply a little bit of heat, let the film release the tension and then we could tack it down. Let it cool off and then start working your way and installing the film and it should sit like that. And now here you do have a little bit of excess material because there is fingers here. To remove them, apply heat and then tack it down with your finger or squeegee. Let it cool off and then just start squeegeeing at an angle. That way you avoid creasing the film. And all we're doing is just covering the chrome. So if you have fingers right on the edge, those fingers we would trim them off. That's perfectly fine. As long as you don't have fingers on the actual panel. And now we just finish off with the top piece. So lift it carefully and start tacking it down. You could also apply heat to help it tack down faster. So let's say we want to apply heat, lift it carefully, only up to the edge, and then apply a little bit of heat to release the tension and then tack it down. And then just continue on with the rest. Make sure you come back and finish installing it. And then for this piece here, we're going to apply heat once again, like how we did it with this curve, just to help it tack down. And as you can see now, the film is tacked down. It's not lifting and it's perfectly fine. And now that we have complete full coverage, we're just going to tack down whatever is remaining. And then after that, we'll trim off the extra material and we should be done. So apply heat to tack everything down and to remove any small fingers. And then we could trim off any excess material. So there's a small gap here. That's what you'll trim off. To make an outline with your finger, insert the blade and trim it off. As you can see, we're still doing full coverage. And now the fingers that you had on the edge are gone because they were just attached to the lower piece here. So we didn't have to worry. And then you would just trim off on the gap here and anywhere else where we have excess material. And the same steps that we did for this one, rinse and repeat to the other one, and then once you're done, you pulse seat the whole panel. Okay, so the last thing to do once you finish installing the whole panel on the front grill is to pulse seat the entire film, that way we help it tack down and seal off any edges that are still lifting. So just grab your heat gun and just apply heat all around the film, wherever we overlapped or helped it curved anywhere, basically the whole entire film. That way we help the adhesive factory faster and it doesn't lift over time. And then once you're done with this step, you're done with the installation. Okay, so that concludes the installation video for the front chrome delete installation for the RAV4 Prime. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.